We, we started, started the Ratatouille Musical. And this is that story. My name is Emily Jacobson, and this all started in August of 2020. One day in my apartment, I was reading an article about the new Ratatouille ride coming to Disney World, and that sort of got the movie in my head. So afterwards, when I was cleaning up my apartment, I just started singing this song to myself about the main character of the movie, Remy. Remy the Ratatouille, the ride of all my dreams. And I found the song pretty funny and decided to make a TikTok out of it. And when I recorded the song, I sped it up so my voice sounded a little more cartoon-like. Remy the Ratatouille, the ride of all my dreams. And I posted it on TikTok, sent it off to family and friends, and pretty much forgot about it. It was just for a joke, a quick laugh. Fast forward two months later, I woke up one morning to hundreds of notifications. It turned out that TikTok superstar Brittany Broski had posted a video, and on one side it was the characters from the Ratatouille movie dancing, and on the other side she was dancing along with them. The background music was my little joke song from August. And suddenly there were all these people flooding over to my video and liking, commenting, tagging their friends. Every day there were thousands of people using my song in their own videos. And that kind of exposure caught the attention of Daniel Mertzleft, who's a composer, arranger, overall musical genius. My name is Daniel Mertzleft. I'm a working composer, arranger, and when all of this stuff was shut down because of COVID, I think me, like every other person, was longing for theater in some way. I became aware of Emily's video when a friend of mine, who also went viral on TikTok for his song, I'm an Accountant, tagged me in the comments and said, is this the next grocery store musical? Which was my big musical video that went viral over the summer. So I listened to Emily's video, I thought it was funny, thought it was charming, and said, maybe. We have lots of strings, French horn, lots of percussion. We have the tubular bells and glockenspiel and all of that to bring us into the world. And it was in that moment that the Ratatouille musical movement was born. So suddenly at that point, every single video on my For You page was about the Ratatouille musical. Anyone can If you want to make it, in the kitchen. Yes, ma'am. Don't waste your whiskers on dreaming. For a while, I was kind of afraid that I was gonna get some sort of legal notice or cease and desist. But then suddenly, people from the Disney world started joining in. Patton Oswalt, the voice of Remy, he was tagging the director of the movie, Brad Bird, who was chiming in. And then all of a sudden, Disney popped up on their Disney Parks TikTok account with a video they called the unofficial audition for the Ratatouille musical. The next day, Pixar on Instagram was posting a picture of Remy and captioning it with my lyrics. So there were suddenly all these nods here and there that made me think, all right, Disney's not necessarily mad about this. This could be a good thing. We've both had multiple interviews a day. People are asking me what my next projects are, record labels wondering if I have things that I'm working on, managers, agents. Um, if Disney were to kind of bring this to fruition in some way, they're kind of in a weird position. I don't think there's ever been a situation where really the community at large has taken such a role in creating a product. There would be a lot of demand, I think, to use some of what has been created and contributed on TikTok. If we've learned anything from the movie, I think it's that great art can come from anywhere. And that's what has happened on TikTok with the Ratatouille musical. Oh, Ratatouille.